here's a story about Jeffrey, a father of three who was perpetually caught in the whirlwind of work, leaving little time for his family. The father who chased shadows. In the heart of a bustling city, where skyscrapers kissed the sky and time raced like a runaway train, there lived a man named Jeffrey. His life was a symphony of ticking clocks, ringing phones, and missed moments. Jeffrey was a father of three, a trio of bright stars in his universe. Achilles, the eldest, had inherited his father's determination. He dreamed of exploring distant lands, but his compass always pointed toward the empty chair at the dinner table. Orion, the middle child, had eyes that sparkled like constellations. He yearned for someone to play catch with, to chase after baseballs and dreams. And then there was Triton, the youngest, with wide eyes that held galaxies of curiosity. Triton wondered why Daddy was always too busy to attend his school events, why his laughter echoed through empty hallways. Jeffrey's days began before dawn. He wore exhaustion like a second skin, chasing paychecks from one job to another. The taxi meter clicked, the delivery van hummed, and the security guard's flashlight danced in the night. His children's laughter became a distant echo, fading like stars swallowed by morning light. The neighborhood whispered about Jeffrey, the father who was never there. They shook their heads, their gossip like falling leaves. He's chasing shadows, they said. His children grow while he counts dollars. But Jeffrey wasn't heartless. When the moon peeked through the curtains, he tiptoed into Achilles' room. The boy's eyes would flutter open, and Jeffrey spun tales of dragons, lost kingdoms, and heroes who fought against time itself. Achilles listened, his heart aching for more than bedtime stories. Orion, with his baseball glove and dreams of the major leagues, waited by the front door. Jeffrey stole moments after midnight shifts before dawn patrols. They played catch under the streetlights, the ball soaring like hope. Orion's laughter echoed through the quiet streets, and for those stolen minutes, Jeffrey was more than a shadow. And then there was Triton, the stargazer. One evening, when the city slept, Jeffrey took him to the rooftop. They sat on the edge, legs dangling over the edge of the world. Triton pointed at the constellations, the stories etched in the sky. Daddy, he whispered, why are you always chasing stars? Jeffrey's heart cracked. He pulled Triton close, the city lights below like distant fireflies. I'm chasing dreams, he said. For you, for all of you. Triton's eyes widened. But Daddy, we want you here. And in that moment, Jeffrey understood. The skyscrapers were just shadows, and the real constellations were in his children's eyes. He vowed to be more than a paycheck, more than a fleeting presence. He would be there for bedtime stories, for catch, for school events. The city didn't stop spinning, but Jeffrey did. He turned down promotions, traded overtime for soccer games, and held hands with his children. The neighborhood watched, the whispers now softer, like leaves rustling in a gentle breeze. And so, the father who chased shadows became the father who chased sunsets. Achilles, Orion, and Triton knew. They had a hero who didn't wear a cape, but carried their hearts in his tired hands. And in their cozy home, where laughter painted the walls, they lived happily ever after. Remember, time is our most precious gift. Let's spend it wisely, for our loved ones are waiting for us to be present, not just physically, but with our hearts wide open.